What? How? Well, I was not expecting that at all. Thank you to the over 30,000 viewers and the over 900 subscribers. I could have never imagined this. Thank you so much. Now, how to follow that up? Ah, I know. So I've made both Pyria and Pantala with World Painter. How do I go further with this? Put them together. Now, I could completely remake both continents on one file, or I could do something completely impractical but infinitely more fun. You probably already know which one I'm choosing. Here's the plan. One, copy the entire continent of Pantala with World Edit. Two, open Pyria and paste it. Three, put islands in between them. Here are the problems. Number one, Pantala is a map formatted for 1.12. I need to load the whole map to translate it to the latest release because of how World Painter works. Two, um, I might need all the chunks loaded to save them. When I copy the map, it may require me to load the entire continent, which is gonna be, it's possible, but it'll be a difficult process. Three, pasting might take a while, and I don't even know if it's going to work at all, because changing all those blocks at once is going to be very taxing on my computer. It might work fine. It might take a while. It might require all my computer resources. It might not work at all. We'll see what happens. With that out of the way, let's get started. So I'm here at Pantala because... Oh wait, I need a crafting table in Java Edition. I need to load the entire world. Because um, the way World Painter works is it only, I mean, it, it kind of import, it kind of exports in like 1.16 if you really try, but it, it, it works best with 1.12. So I have to render all the chunks. Why is my render distance so low? So I am going to make a map so I know where I can make sure I, I've rendered all the chunks. Because there is not a, like, not really a better way to do this. At least I don't know of a better way. So we're just going to do this. Alright, by the way, whoever um, said uh, that uh, there aren't supposed to be trees on, um, on a Pantala, you're right, I completely messed up. Um, I completely forgot that there are no trees, so, um, but also, um, I can't really do anything about how Minecraft generates the trees, so I'm gonna have to manually um, get rid of all these trees here.
All right, so now that I've got all of um, Pintala filled in, I am gonna move on to um, the lace version of Minecraft because I have some plans there. Okay, it looks like it worked. So now that we've got that, um, we now need to uh, go to both corners of the world and cuboid select it all. I'm lagging in a single player world. So now that we're in um, the uh, um, newer versions of Minecraft, these chunks that I didn't load last time now contain the um, like the new oceans, which is good. We're at the bottom of both of these maps. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to bedrock. Okay, so here's our bedrock. I'm just gonna go right into the bedrock and do pause one. So now we have our one position down there. Time to head to the other side. All right. Now I need to make sure that I am above the highest point so I can select the entire continent. All right, now I am going to go all the way up to the world limit so that we don't lose any mountains. 256. All right, let's head back to the center because I think I'm going to copy at the center. This is very interesting. There's just red all over the place. Um, it's very interesting to look at. We are right there. So we are right here. Um, I'm going to quickly check where Pantala is in relation to Pyria. Okay, so if Pantala is right here, then Pyria is somewhere over here. Or no, 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 wait. No, it's more like this. Pyria is right here, Pantala is right here. Parasite comes over here, must have gone down here because she ends up in the poison jungle so let's go to the poison jungle and copy there so the first thing I want to do here before we copy it is I'm going to get rid of all the savannah trees um, I, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but here we go. seems to be happening. Did that even work at all? Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit, just in case. I know something's wrong because usually it says like replaced or affected number of blocks, but the it's not doing it for some reason because I can still move. Um, there's no noticeable snow slowdown for the most part. I don't know exactly. 
Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm definitely lagging. Okay, so the game is running, but the world isn't running. If I place a sand block, look, it, it's not gonna fall. <laughs> it's floating sand. And I can stand on it. Okay, so it's been like two hours and still um the sand has not fallen and i haven't gotten the uh operation completed message in the chat and the game has slowed to a crawl i'm getting like like frame rates so terrible you have to measure them not in frames per second but seconds per frame <laughs> in case it'd be like five seconds per frame, maybe four seconds per frame. This is bad. So we are gonna um, save and quit to title. And we're gonna come back and see what happens. All right, this is taking longer than expected. Whoa, okay. Minecraft just crashed. Um. Alright, well. Okay. Let's, um. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna join back into the world just to see what happens. And then I'm probably just gonna have to go with the boring way. Because this is clearly not working. All right. It clearly didn't save. <sighs> All right. Well, we tried. Um, I guess this video is going to take a few more days than expected, <laughs> but that's okay. So clearly that isn't going to work, or at least it won't work very quickly. So time to move to plan B. Put both maps in World Painter and export as one file. I was worried at first that I'd have to completely remake Peri and Patella, but after digging through World Painter's tools, I figured out how to put both existing maps together. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it's ready to export. Okay. Here we are. This is Peria. So now, if we go to the Ice Kingdom, we'll head over there. All right, so I am at the very tip of Peria, and straight this way should be Pintala, if I'm correct. Here we go. Whoa, what's this? This is not Pentala. At least I don't think this is Pentala. Is this Pentala? Just a random island. Uh, yeah, there is no Pentala in sight. Maybe we need to go more south? Oh, hey, look at this. Could it be? I think this is Pentala here. Oh yeah, I think I think this is it. Welcome to Pentala. Both Pentala and Peria on the same map. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to quickly place everything on this big map board. So actually, this is closer. 
See, these are actually the same spot. So it's actually more like something like this, except these maps aren't completely filled in. Now, in reality, I don't think the continents are actually this close, but just so that it's um, it's a reasonable journey between them, um, I've made them a bit closer. I haven't actually put the islands, but um, I will eventually. I know at the end of book 13, it says something about the islands, but um, it's been a while since I read it. So maybe I'll do that later, but yeah, here it is. Pintala, Peria, and the same map. Um, I'm gonna get this fixed up, the maps. Um, I'll probably do the islands later, but I'm really excited at how the Wings of Fire world is coming out. And now, both Peria and Pantala are on the same Minecraft world. If you want to download this world, I'll have a link to it in the comments as well as the description. I'm super excited to continue building the world of Wings of Fire in Minecraft.